for you guys who have kids, I'm sure you guys are already entrenched in all of this, but for those who don't have kids, I'm going to saddle you with an assignment right off the bat before we can get into it. Go watch a Christmas movie. I don't care which one is it is. I don't care if it's Jim Carrey's The Grinch. I don't care if it's um, The Santa Clauses. I don't care if it's the old Tim Allen, The Santa Claus. Um, any one of those are great. They're good comedies or feel-good movies. Um, me having four kids at the house, I think we've burned through every single Christmas movie that there is. I think we're up to like number 16 or 17. And on the weekends, we'll burn through two or three at a time. Um, I will say my personal favorites, Claus, K-L-A-U-S. Um, I don't know what streaming uh, has it, but that was a really good story. I love the storyline behind it. The magic, the magic of Christmas, you know, the magic of the holiday. Um, I, I really don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, um, you're celebrating Hanukkah. That's not what is important to me on this one. So when I say Christmas, I just really mean, you know, the spirit of the holiday season right now, because no matter what God or deity you subscribe to or believe in, it's still the magic of the holiday. It's still the fun of the families and giving presents and watching the kids' faces light up. There's so much that goes into that. I'm renewed this year for a couple of reasons. Obviously, one, you can't watch 17 different Christmas movies and not get into the spirit. I mean, that's just a given. So every night we go to bed, we're, you know, our souls are filled with love. It's happy. We're all going to sleep, tucking the kids in. It's just a good time. 